I remember a year and a half ago, two years ago, the conversation was, oh, would you rather have Mount or Grealish or Madison? They were always in the same conversation in that same bracket. And since that time, you just feel that, well, Grealish has gone on to Manchester City for £100 million. Mason Mount is a Champions League winner and an integral part of that blue side as well. Madison seems to have been left a little bit by the wayside, perhaps. But now it looks like he's rediscovering his best form. And really, it's important that he does, given it is a World Cup year. Yeah, I, th I think uh, you know. The, I think he burst onto the scene with Leicester, and then I think he's probably he had a couple of injuries, uh, a bit of a loss of form, and a, and a bit of a loss of confidence, and that all seems to be back now. And, and like he says, he's, he's becoming more and more effective every week in, in a consistent way for Leicester. Um, I, I also think it helps that Leicester have also had a few um, team selection problems through injury, and I think having having stronger players back has helped him. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's, there's no doubt that on his day, Madison is a, is a top top player, um, and, and like he said himself, all it was about was was consistency. Uh, I think he's got a good manager that, that knows how to fill him with confidence and, and work on his game and improve his game, uh, and, and I'd like to see him in the England squad in the in the, at the World Cup. When it comes to Madison as well, Brunty, you just saw his interview. He seems like someone you want in the dressing room. He seems like the type of character that's able to, to get everybody together, very un, united in that aspect. And someone who's just fun to be around, which I'm sure can go a long way off the field. Yeah, of course. He's, he's a talented boy, isn't he? You can see what he's saying. He's, he's confident off both feet. He's a confident lad, obviously, as well. But, yeah, I think, speaking from international trip experience, I think it's a, it's a, long, it's a long 10 days or two weeks. Um, a World Cup, I would imagine, it's even longer. So you do need a few characters around there. But obviously, it's there's there's a, a good bit of football to be played before for the end of the season. He's got a few European games, uh, got the European games coming up. And if he keeps performing the way he did today, he, he'll definitely be on Gareth Southgate's radar. But like you say, that ad you spoke about before, Grealish, Mount, you know, people like that at the minute are, are, are that little bit ahead of him. And it'll just depend, obviously, how he finishes the season. Yeah, it's a, it's a headache. It is a massive headache right now for Gareth Southgate. A question of who does he pick for his squad because there's so many players excelling and it's hard to, to remember a time, in recent memory anyway, that the English squad has had so much talent that's ready to go. But World Cup is a long, long way away. We're still in the previous season before next season.